Thankfully, much has changed during the first century of the automobile, when cars were narrow and control was optional. Now, as the automobile begins its second 100 years, the first road car for the next century makes its debut. Pontiac introduces the all-new Grand Prix. With Grand Prix, Pontiac proves a point that if you want a car to handle, to corner with speed and control, to literally attack the road, you give the car a wider track. For 1997, Pontiac makes the most of this engineering principle by taking our concept of wide tracking to a new plateau, and the result is a no-excuses road car. Shoulder to shoulder, the wide track Grand Prix hits the road with a totally new design, and it's got the performance to prove that Grand Prix engineers are right. Wider is better. By placing the wheels out at the far corners, less weight is transferred side to side during cornering. Flatter turns and better grip result. Working to make the most of the wide track is a taut sport suspension. The new fully independent design delivers a confident feel in corners, even when taken wide open. Car design has come a long way since 1896, when the first true motor car rumbled onto the dirt streets of Massachusetts. Or 1926, when the first Pontiac debuted. As our engineers have done since the first Pontiac hit the streets, the Grand Prix design team took advantage of the day's most current technology. Making the most of the new wide track stance, designers penned a body that's wider and lower than last year's model, delivering an athletic look, accentuated by a low profile roofline that confidently sets the muscular wide track Grand Prix apart from the throngs of boring transportation appliances. The result is a car that you drive, not guide. A car that wants to take the long way home. A car that will widen your performance horizons. For those who understand this perspective on driving, Grand Prix offers three choices, including the SE sedan, the GT, and the all-out GTP. The GT and GTP are available in both coupe and sedan body styles. Horsepower for the SE is a full 160. The GT turns up the heat with 195. And the supercharged GTP pumps out a full 240 horsepower. More than any other car in its class, including the Ford Taurus SHO, the Dodge Intrepid, and the Toyota Camry. All three models direct power through an electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission. A far cry from all that was available back then in terms of power and reliability. While forward motivation was often a process of wishful thinking, but no great danger, early drivers employed unique means to slow their vehicles. No such means are necessary with the Wide Track Grand Prix, because matching Grand Prix's engine lineup are power four-wheel disc brakes with sophisticated anti-lock controls that are standard, unlike Grand Prix's main competitors from Ford, Honda, or Toyota. Without ABS, steering while braking on slippery roads is virtually impossible. Pontiac made anti-lock brakes standard because it feels that maximum control is not optional and shouldn't cost drivers hundreds of dollars extra. And in comparison to the road feel early drivers received, more control is what drivers feel with Grand Prix's available Magnesteer Variable Effort Power Steering System. Magnesteer is unique to the class, offering drivers an advanced rack and pinion design and computer-controlled logic that delivers light steering at parking lot speeds and a terrific feel when you need it most. The result? The steering always feels just right. Another aspect of Grand Prix's control and performance comes from its body structure, yet another area where huge improvements have been made. Unlike the cars of old, every wide-track Grand Prix resists bending and bowing. Engineers call this stiffness. Grand Prix's strong body structure enables the wide-track suspension to deliver a controlled, composed ride, along with its inspired road car handling. And as you'd expect from Pontiac, specific tires and spring rates are matched to each model's powertrain, enabling drivers to ring out the maximum in road-going performance. Imagine yourself accelerating on slick pavement. It could be a nightmare in an antique or even in a modern car without traction assist. Not with Grand Prix. Automatically, Grand Prix's enhanced traction system slows the spinning wheels by adjusting engine power and transmission gearing to provide the maximum control and traction available. Pontiac knows that power is useless if not properly controlled. Such thinking made enhanced traction system a Grand Prix standard.
In line with all Grand Prix delivers on the road is an interior that's the command center of the wide track experience. The cabin design places switches and instruments in their logical locations, making the most of the wide track's physical dimensions. The result is a cockpit that puts the driver in control. Instrumentation is all analog, and at night glows in warm red lighting that is a Pontiac hallmark. Grand Prix's standard bucket seats put you in the perfect position to see the instrumentation. Beyond the driver's seat, standard adjustable lumbar support, power seating, and heating controls are available. All Grand Prix's also feature the Advanced Driver Information Center. That, in addition to providing expected features, such as notifying drivers when their trunk is open or reminding drivers of a low washer fluid level, Grand Prix informs drivers when tire pressure requires attention or when engine oil requires changing. Aircraft-style IQ head-up display instrumentation is also available. Supplementing the standard gauges, the HUD system projects critical information into your field of vision so you can keep your eyes on the road where they belong. Beyond instrumentation, plenty is standard in this roomy cabin, including air conditioning, power windows, and door locks. Like the rest of Grand Prix, these door locks provide much more performance than you might expect. For instance, to prevent lockouts, when the car is parked and the keys are left in the ignition, you can't activate the electric door locks. Thanks to the delay feature of the locks, when actuated, the doors don't actually lock for five to eight seconds giving you time to get what you need out of the back seat. Available features include radio controls mounted on a leather-wrapped steering wheel. The controls are designed for quick access, and they deliver, as does Grand Prix's standard dual airbag system. Grand Prix also offers an option to help you take it all with you. Rear seat pass-through. It provides an opening from the trunk to the rear seat area. And like the rest of the car, the available rear seat pass-through is wide, a full 14 inches. Regardless of how you equip your Grand Prix, you'll agree that wide track is not just a mechanical fact, but a performance reality that delivers more of what you're looking for, like improved handling and control, more driving comfort and convenience, thanks to features that go beyond your expectations, more standard equipment to enhance safety, such as anti-lock brakes and traction control, and more power for true wide track and road going excitement. After you put it all together, it's clear that wider is better. For the latest information on the Wide Track Grand Prix, the SE, the GT, and the GTP, call your local Pontiac dealer or cruise Pontiac site on the internet at Pontiac.com. Visiting either source will help you get even more information on how wider is better. The Wide Track Grand Prix, poised to usher in the automobile's next 100 years.